Rose Nama Yunus versus Zhang Wei Li 2, as you may well know. Doug Rose knocked her out cold in the first fight within the first round. Very impressive victory to retake her title as a strawweight queen. She's coming at 115 with a five foot five inch height with a 65 inch reach. Uh, and her counterpart, the former champion who she took the belt from, Zhang Wei Li, is coming at 5'4 with a 63 inch reach. Zach, I think we could just go back to what we said about the first fight and say the exact same thing. Um, but I think the one thing that you have to think about, especially with these women, is it's very hard for them to lose their belt. I think confidence affects them uh, more than the males for whatever reason, you know, it's just kind of empirically what I've seen, uh, especially with the fall off of like Holly Holm, Ronda Rousey. Um, it's just, you know, you never know what these people are thinking and what they're going to fight on their, uh, psychological state. Ah, I agree. You know, and I think the biggest example of that, as much as a lot of people want to call it excuses, is the first fight we saw between these two. Like, Zhang, Wiley Zhang was not in the right state of mind when she stepped into the octagon that night, and her performance quite quite clearly shows that. She got uh, caught. I, 100%. And I, when, you, when you're as skilled of a fighter as Rose, I don't think you can say that she got caught. I think you can say it was skillfully set up and it landed exactly how it was supposed to. You know, they, they taught that one in the training room. But... It's tough. This is the fight I was like, I'm finally going to get to pick an underdog. And then I realized that Wiley Zhang is not the underdog here. I'm taking Team Cringe in their, in their first experimental fight. I like the combo of Cejudo, Zhang, and Figueredo training in Arizona, I believe, together. I just think that, you know, Zhang is huge for this weight class. And Rose Namaunas is not a very big lady. Not that that means much. I think the only time we ever really have seen that affect her is when Jessica Andrade slammed her on her head. Like, I'm not saying Wiley Zhang can do that, but I'm saying that if she can close the distance in this fight, if she can keep this kind of a dirty boxing match, if she can keep them close together, her power combined with her ability to impose herself in the clinch, I, I think she's going to work one over on Rose here, man. I think this is going to be a sneaky fight. I think everybody is going to expect it to play out the same way it did last time. And, you know, truthfully, I, I, I don't know who has an advantage in the cardio here. We've seen both of these ladies go five rounds and both of these ladies have wars. But I think Zhang's going to impose herself. I think she's going to be well coached. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw her mixing in the takedowns, man. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw her try to wrestle a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised either, but. I think if you're saying what Wei Lee, you're going to try to walk her down just like you did Yana, Young J. Check, and uh, Jessica Andrade. You know, come control the center of the hot gun, throw those nasty combos that she does has, and they hit hard. I mean, go back and look Yana, Young J. Check's forehead. That that was crazy. That was a crazy fight, and um, she has it all. She's very complete mixed martial artist. On the other hand, you know Rose's game. Stick and move. She's going to try to use her uh, reach and try to use her um, mobility, just kind of ink and dunk, you know? But like I said, I think this is where one comes into play. This is what Zhang Wei Li's first real loss since our first professional fight. And, you know, on a world stage where she felt like she didn't necessarily lose. I think there's just a lot here to unpack from a psychological standpoint for her. Um, and, you know, obviously, Doug Rose lost her belt and she came back, and that was a very big deal, especially in the MMA community. But I think, I think I'm think i going with Doug Rose here. I rode with her the first time. I'm going to ride with her again. I don't know, man. I, I hate to be a flippant fan because I was very confident in Rose last time. And I'm not saying she's not great. I just... I think that Wei Lee has a fire under that ass right now. I think she is coming, and I think 
I mean, if she wins, you have to do part three, right? Carla Esparza is in the mix, but no offense. She's not as entertaining as either of these women. No, no shot. But we have Wei Lee coming in as the minus 111 favorite and Rose Nama Yunus at the plus 105 mark as the underdog. I mean, these are as close as you'll get for a title fight uh, these days. But I'm going I'm going with decision, man. I'm, I think I think Nami Yunus wins a decision here. Uh, plus 350. Obviously, you can see the money line's gone down on that. So people are seeing it that way. Um, but I know you're you're probably thinking something else, huh? No, absolutely not. I'm actually I'm actually thinking the exact same thing. I'm actually thinking, <clears throat> excuse me, that this fight is going to be dirty. It's going to be gritty. It is going to be every bit of a Madison Square Garden fight. And after coming off of Jan v. Sandhagen in the co-main event last week, I think that this is just setting the stage for people to start making the argument that co-main events are more competitive than the main events nowadays in the UFC. I think this fight is going to be phenomenal. And I, I'm taking Wei Li actually wins by a split majority decision at Plus 1,000. I think somebody's going to score the fight for Rose. I think it's going to be that close. I'm not, I'm not saying that Wei Li's going to come out and just absolutely tear her to shreds, but I think, I think she's going to do enough to have won it in the end, and I think there might be some really upset Rose Namayunas fans by the end of it. Yeah, I mean, I just think if you go and look at Rose's, she, she, doesn't, she hasn't really lost a stand-up fight. You know, obviously, she got slammed on her head by Jessica Andrade and lost in the ultimate fighter to Carla Esparza. But as long as she's not on the ground, I mean, she really hasn't lost anything. So I'm going to stick with Rose here. I don't I, re- I really don't think there's going to be a knockout in this fight. You know, uh, it's just hard. I would like for there to be, but I agree with you. It, it's really hard for 115 pound people to flatline somebody, you know. No, it's I, I agree, but I just think that this is going to be so technical on both ends that unless the knockout comes within 30 seconds like it did last time, we're going to be in for one where these two just pick each other apart the yeah. whole time. Absolutely.